Welcome back, Brigandine enthusiasts. This is Double Seventy Seven Trigger here, and I'm bringing you the Battle of Camelfort. So this is the battle that uh, took place. Just an hour earlier, I um, went through it and uh, I thought, hey, this would be a great castle to attack. Uh, great to see how well their Salamander can uh, um, do against my White Dragon. So this is the kind of army that I'm going to uh, bring here. This might be the army I take into the final battle. I'm still deciding upon that. Uh, I think I do want to take Noi, and, but I'm just trying to decide between Paul Mighty's and Dillard. I've, uh, you know, wanted to take them into a final battle like that for a long time. I'm not sure how well a champion would do. I think he'd be very powerful, and he'd evade a lot, but I think there are a lot more magic attacks that go on in that battle. I'm not totally sure, but, um, you know, as the, as the game progresses, I'll, you know, kind of figure it out. Usually I do like to take Hector, um, but uh, I think this time I want to change things up a little, just a little bit. Uh, so, in this gameplay, what happened here, and I will um, run you through a few things. Um, basically, I came down, uh, I tried to set up a little position, and I got a little greedy with my demon. I thought, oh, I'll just set her right out there, and she should be just fine, because I'll be close enough to heal her. Anything, you know, bad goes up, uh, you know, anything bad happens, and uh, yeah, I'm just uh, close enough to doing this. But I thought too, oh man, I really want to take down the Salamander, and I'm going to have to put him out there. I'm going to have to put my Griffin out there, and I want to keep my Griffins, because I'm probably going to take a few into the final battle. But, um, you know, sometimes that uh, it goes that way. You really want to kill something off, and you end up sacrificing one of your own. Um, and so that's kind of what, um, you know, if that's the position he's in. I don't have anybody close enough to really... Uh, heal him up. Um, I could throw protect on him, but uh, the demon is a little more important right now because she's level seven, I believe, at the moment. Um, so I'm bringing my rock over here. Uh, hopefully, you know, thinking maybe he might stone the salamander, but uh, that did not happen that time. So, you know, looking at my options here, definitely I got to heal up the demon. And uh, keep her alive because she's going to be very important in the final battle. Um, I've seen other people use like five of these things and just <laughs> pretty much rock the the enemy team with uh, meteor dooms. I don't think I'll be doing that. Um, I might, uh, you know, go with a Lucifer and uh, Satan, um, but uh, I don't think I'll be doing tons and tons of meteor doom just to knock them out. It um, <clears throat> does work. But I think I want to try, um, you know, something that's, you know, hasn't quite been done before and see how it works. Um, but, uh, so, here I'm just wailing away at that salamander. Every little, th every little thing I can do. Um, I did not, uh, you know, put Vinard out there because putting him one blue against the triple red, not a great idea. <laughs> um, I mean, although the blue does... Uh, technically trump the red here. I just wasn't positive I wanted to try that, especially since I could just cast a magic spell and then get something else to go in that space. And so that's kind of what I was trying to, you know, figure out and go for. So I thought, you know what, he would, uh, you know, my boyfriend would do really, really, would do exceptionally well against it, but um, I need to level up my leader, and the boyfriend would be better suited attacking that griffin down um, right by my angel. That way I could take out some of their flying stuff and, uh, you know, keep some uh, good things going on there. Plus I get two attacks here uh, with the dragon because the dragon, you know, obviously I only had, I had to choose one or the other. Um, Paul Muddy's could have went after the, um, the griffin, but um, if he attacks something that's a lot more powerful, he'll get a lot more experience points. So that's why I did that. Um, now here I'll get uh, my wyvern. Good hit here. My wyvern is a little bit exposed, 
but um, I wanted to expose him just a little bit so they stopped trying to tackle my demon so much. Um, and here I <laughs> accidentally pressed on the wrong button. I haven't uh, been at this game for about a week or, or so. So, um, yeah, I've been away a little bit. Uh, I've been doing some uh, other things. Another video that I'm kind of working on, and, uh, you know, there's a lot of work going on uh, at work. So, you know, not, um, not trying to delay it too much. I want to get through this uh, gameplay. I don't want to take, you know, too much time. I think the last one, it actually took me about a month, but I was doing a lot of video editing, and there was a few other things going on, too. So, I mean, this could take you know, possibly that long too, but uh, you know, there's a lot of things going on this summer, so, you know, that, that's just the way things go. Um, you know, if, if I had a ton of free time, I didn't have a family to, you know, uh, take care of and do a lot of stuff for, I uh, probably would have a lot more free time to do these kinds of things, but um, just still trying to, you know, play the game, um, you know, get some good, uh, good gameplay out there. Um, not trying to, um, I know some people might think, uh, oh, you're just trying to uh, possibly, you know, get um, the best gameplay in here. And um, I am, but I'm not trying to redo anything. So pretty much nothing has been redone except for the fact that, um, you know, there was one video where the audio file was not working. So I had to redo that because of that issue. Otherwise, there wouldn't have been any, any music of any kind. Uh, except for the narration, and I don't care to watch that uh, kind of a video, so that's the only thing I actually redid. Um, but everything else is just straight gameplay, and you're just watching it um, uh, with me narrating, narrating afterward, because for some reason I'm not able to narrate while I'm playing the game, so this is uh, kind of how it goes. Um, I chose Curse here because it's a more powerful spell. It'll probably give me more experience points for using the more powerful spell and also getting the kill. And so that's why I did that. Uh, yeah, you know, I could have saved that and yada yada and <laughs> stuff like that. But I'm watching, um, I just saw for a second, I don't know, it just looked like for a second while my demon leveled up, her magic points, her, um, magic points not used yet, uh, half leveled up as well and I've actually gained some extra magic points just by leveling up so that's kind of interesting I know in the uh, original game uh, Brigandine original um, well I'm sorry I shouldn't say original I think um, this might be the original the American one might be the copy I don't know but um, in this one in this version here uh, I have just noticed that now in the American version I've noticed that if you level up, you don't get any extra magic points for leveling up. So that could just be um, something about this. And uh, I did say before I want to try to keep every single thing alive and try to play a game where I've got everything to stay alive. Well, this one's a little tougher, and I sort of had uh, had to put my griffin way out there to get that first initial attack on the salamander so I could get some things rolling. Um, I know some people would say, oh, I'll try to capture it. Uh, that's nice and good and all, but, uh, you know, at the end of the day, especially, um, you know, when I'm in this kind of a, a lock here, where I can't really cross the bridge too efficiently, I really can't get to their leaders too efficiently, i um, trying to put myself too far out to do things where I get a leader kill, might get more things killed than just the griffin, so that's the reason why I decided to kill off the salamander right away, because they have healers on their team, and I don't want to be dealing with a salamander that's constantly getting healed up. So I thought the best choice, the best approach for this would be just kill it off right away. If I lose something, well, then it was kind of a trade-off. But um, I gained at the trade-off. Then, you know, I gained more than they did. So that's the uh, particular reason for that. Um, I think um, I pulled together a few... Um, particular attacks that worked very efficiently. I don't think there's anything I would have done differently in this game battle here. Uh, a lot of things went really well. I was able to maneuver a few of my flying creatures um, to the east and the west, um, you know, well enough that I could, um, you know, take down some of their better stuff and also stay alive at the same time. So, 
I, uh, I think this went very well. Um, this ended up being a longer gameplay battle due to the fact that uh, you get into these situations where you're on the one bridge, you know, that's uh, separating you from the enemy and you have to slowly cross the water. So you don't really get a lot of chances to, uh, you know, improve from the positions that you've, uh, you know, set upon your army. Uh, so you have to just, you know, try to uh, just try to battle along here. Um, you know, I wanted to get Viner a little bit closer, but for the way that uh, the uh, the attacks were going, um, the Salamander was there, and if I would have put Viner forward to attack the Salamander, well, then I wouldn't have had anybody else to attack him as well. So using the magic on him gave me more options to attack him, which uh, case uh, led to his ultimate demise. Um, so right at this point I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to take out uh, I think it's Eldisia um, but um, yeah can't remember the name that clearly it's I think it is Eldisia though but right now I'm trying to get off this Pegasus I don't know where they got a Pegasus from I don't know why they have one but uh, they're gonna lose it and sometimes in a lot of cases you start killing off high-level monsters high-level leaders um, things that are really going to help out their army, they will start retreating sooner. And this is one of those gameplays where this could take quite some time if I just, uh, you know, went uh, very slowly, um, you know, in there to attack them. So I'm trying to kill off a leader on the bridge, maybe push myself forward a little bit. Uh, they could possibly stay if I killed her off, but um, I don't know. Yeah, I don't think they would because they did lose the Salamander too, so um, just trying to gain a little bit better position. I wish Palamides would have hit. That would have um, that would have been the, the game changer right there. Right at that point. Um, yeah, I'm very grateful I got to kill off that Salamander. That Salamander is probably, and I've discussed this with a few other people off of uh, YouTube and, um, you know, other forums too, I think, um, I think uh, Sinjackal mentioned before that is probably the most powerful salamander in the game, um, you know, in comparison to what you can level up. And there are certain, certain other monsters that seem to be more powerful than what you can get up. And I kind of agree with that. I think also um, the Gigas that Drist initially gets is probably the most powerful one, you know, at that at a comp comparable level that you can do yourself. I think that's, uh, you know, fairly accurate. Um, one thing I'm excited here about is um, there are a few differences um, with this game than the regular North American version. And uh, it's it's kind of interesting. Uh, some things I like a whole lot better, and some things I just really, really don't care for. Um, the uh, uh, what is it? The um, the druid class um, that um, you know that class in particular. I don't believe they have the spell curse, and uh, I was really looking forward to that for Morhold, but they do not have the spell curse, and technically. I do sometimes change Zephyrin into a um, into a druid so I can get him to necromancer spe um, level, uh, but because he's not getting the spell curse right away, I may not. I may just you know keep him with the wizard um, with the you know end up changing him into a wizard, just like um, so. I think that might. Um, you know, be the way that I go with that. Uh, so I'm a little disappointed with that. Um, one thing that I do kind of like is uh, um, is basically uh, one thing I do like a lot is the fact that oh, where is that book again? No, not that one. It's a very interesting read. And a kill spider very effectively too. 
Sorry about that. I had a humongous spider about, oh geez, maybe an inch and a half long. <laughs> it's crawling right in front of me, so I had to kill it. Um, but uh, the the other interesting thing, you know, to get back to the point was, um, is that uh, Cautils, instead of having, and I, I think it applies to the other dragons as well, but instead of having the, uh, the wave attack where they, cr you know, do their cry, bird attack where it uh, spreads out and hits all the enemies and your own team for six of their hit points off it actually damages MP instead so I think that would be very advantageous to take a few of those to attack wizards and instead of attacking the well I mean you'd have to attack the wizard but if you're able to live long enough you could do that attack on them and just cut down their MP. I think that would be interesting if you're playing, and um, <laughs> maybe it's a spoiler, but I think it'd be interesting if you actually were playing against a friend in the uh, Grand Edition version, and you took a few Kotals down, or uh, Bombots or whatever, surrounded Kai, and you just killed his MP <laughs> while you're playing against your friend. In He'd probably be pissed. <laughs> he or she would be pissed <laughs> if they did that. <laughs> because instead of killing him off, you just, just you wreck his whole MP. And he, he can't really do much to you at that point. Um, because um, I don't know if uh, my friend will be watching this video in, you know, in particular. But I'm probably going to play against him. And I might actually put some of this on YouTube. Because he is a stellar player at... Uh, and Dean too. I mean, I've um, we played a file together you know, before um, I found the Grand Edition, and um, and he was uh, you know we we would swap between different armies and stuff, and he would play one army and I'd play another army, and when I play you know really really fast, I just get super aggressive and I'm not really worrying too much about what's going on. But you know when he's playing, um, he typically almost never loses anything, and it's just dumb luck, I think. I mean, some of the stuff he does is just amazing, how he can just get through some of the stuff, and his guy, some of his guys, he's, sometimes I've seen his army, like five of his monsters and, uh, you know, leaders at an assortment were down to like 12 to 30 hit points, and the enemy left, but um, I think it'd be different here, you know, because we were playing on the American version, but uh, here... I think we have a little bit tougher time. Um, and I think uh, we were discussing about how we were going to play. And he wanted to play from the beginning instead of playing where you have just Norgard, Carleon, and Scalio and play against each other like that because he likes Carleon and he likes Norgard. And I'm pretty much a Norgard and a Scalio fan. So I think, you know, if we were to play, I might play as Norgard and he might play as. Kai, or, you know, Carleon, um, but uh, I think if it came to that point, uh, I think I would level up a few Kotos just to mess with them, <laughs> and I might try to do that. I don't think he'd even realize what was going on until it happened, but, yeah, you know, he, he definitely, um, the, the hard part about that is he's going to have the advantage if he's playing as Kai and I'm playing as Vinar because he'll be able to Thunderstrike me way before I can, I can even get to him uh, because that Thunderstrike's going to go you know, beyond what I can do. So he'd have to move up to me, but probably knowing him, he's just going to stay back at his castle the whole time and just you know, try to work with that. So um, if I'm actually able to uh, play against him, I'm basically going to put out the videos where it's just me versus him. And we'll have some kind of... Uh, you know, uh, set standards as to how we play, so we don't play the same match over and over again. But, um, yeah, we, we might do that in the future. Um, that's, that's kind of interesting. I've always wanted to battle against him, and he's always kind of afraid to battle against me. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know. Maybe he, uh, he might be better at it than I am. I am not sure. But, uh, it'd be interesting to put it up and see what happens. So, um, <clears throat> in any case, uh, got kind of, um, off course here, but it's uh, not really a big deal. 
Um, as far as this battle went, uh, you know, I just had to work on the guys, you know, by the bridge and slowly progress forward. Um, you know, do a few strategic moves with my Jin dude and my uh, White Dragon to try to, you know, mess things up just a little bit. Um, and uh, just try to keep pushing forward at, at the bridge. I wanted Palmites on the bridge more than I wanted the Dragon. I know I could have, you know, acid baked them with the Dragon, but um, I'm really, really trying to level up a few leaders and um, really trying to level up Palmites. And I'm trying to level, and I want to level up Dillard soon. Because I want to see which one it would be a little better to take into the bull and oil fight. I think, you know, if one of them isn't quite at the standards that I want, I might take the other and then flop, you know, the one I haven't used for, uh, you know, for the fight after that. So, you know, that's that's probably what I'm going to end up doing. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to try to get my leaders as many kills as possible. Uh, with other leader kills or, you know, haloed up or, you know, however I can do it, um, you know, and uh, just work things, you know, with that. So, yeah, here I'm just, uh, pretty much it's it's right near the end, just seeing who I need to heal up, who I really should heal up. Um, I think I put halo on the, uh, the demon because I need her to get some more kills and uh, you know I could have healed up someone else but I don't think it really matters um, at this point I, I don't think I can really heal anybody up that really needs it um, so yeah that's 70 and just a regular attack should uh, be all I really need for that uh, Venom I don't think would have done anything uh, so now she's up to level 10 I got an Arc Demon. Uh, I think I um, looked at the stats afterward, and still, she's you know, no, it's not high enough for me to level that up to that point. But um, I don't think I'll take the Arch Demon right away. I don't think they have any real advantage. The uh, the weakness and dimension. Uh, I'm not sure how well, you know, that'll work. Um, I'd rather have an Archangel, you know, beforehand. But um, that's just kind of the way it's going here. So I might just set the demon in the back and just let the Archangel do more of the fighting just to get him up and do it that way. So, yeah, in any case, um, it's a long commentary. It was a quite a long game. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And, um, yeah, so this has been Double 77 Trigger here speaking to you. I will bring more of these later. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.